In this lecture, we will get a conceptual understanding of virtualization, which is one of the main technology building blocks behind cloud computing. As we know, divide and conquer is one of the fundamental tenets in computer science. And we see examples of this principle in solving many types of software solutions. That is being said, we can divide a single process into multiple execution paths called multi-threading. Likewise, on an operating system, we can run multiple processes, which is called multiprocessing. In other words, we can run multiple execution paths inside a single process and multiple processes on an operating system. On a similar token, the question is, can we run more than one operating system on single physical hardware? The answer is yes, we can. Taking the concept of divide and conquer further, virtualization is the software engineering mechanism that allows running multiple operating systems on a single physical hardware. Virtualization essentially creates virtual computer systems. Virtualization, or in practical terms, virtual computer systems, allows organizations to run more than one operating system on a single physical server. As a result, virtualization helps in reducing physical server's needs. As you can see, virtualization is a game changer with respect to saving costs in buying and maintaining physical servers. Typically, we run one operating system on one server. However, in virtualization, since more than one operating system can be run on a single physical hardware, organizations can reduce their need to buy and maintain physical servers. The reason is virtualization helps them consolidate their servers' needs in fewer servers. The question is, why do we need virtualization? To get answer of this question, let's continue our discussion about virtualization further. Imagine a scenario, suppose we have a server that is being utilized minimally, wouldn't it be better to utilize it in some way where we can use this physical server's resources to create another virtual server inside this physical server and run other applications on this newly created virtual server? That's the basic idea behind virtualization. In other words, to help achieve optimum utilization of physical computer resources is one of the use cases of virtualization. Let's take another use case to understand virtualization. As we know, Maintaining consistent SLA is very important in critical applications. As a side note, the term SLA is a short form of service level agreement. How can we achieve consistent SLA when running multiple applications on a single physical server? As you can realize, maintaining consistent SLA would be a guessing game in this scenario where we running multiple applications on the same physical hardware. As each application, would have to compete with other applications processes for the resources. One way to handle this is to run each application in a separate isolated environment on the same physical server. That way, the application would not have to compete with other processes for the resources. This way, running applications in their different separate environment would help in providing consistent SLA. As you can notice here, we can leverage virtualization we can use the virtualization technique to create a separate running environment for each application on the same physical server. That way, each application can run in a separate, isolated environment on the same physical server without impacting one another performance. Virtualization essentially creates virtual computer systems. Now, let's talk about what we can virtualize. We can virtualize servers, storage, and networks this means these hardware constructs can be created in software form as well using virtualization. Using virtualization, we can run multiple servers on the same physical server. These virtual servers are called virtual machines or VMs. For example, we can run Windows and Linux operating systems as virtual machines as two entirely different environments on a single physical machine. Each VM would have its own RAM, storage, and network. Not only using virtualization can we run multiple separate operating systems on the same physical server, but also using virtualization, we can run multiple applications in a completely separate isolated environment on the same physical machine. This type of virtualization is called containerization, for example, Docker container. Besides server virtualization, 
storage can also be virtualized using the virtualization technique. For example, multiple physical disks can be combined to form one logical storage, which can be assigned to a server. Examples are logical volume and the RAID group. As a side note, RAID is a short form of redundant array of independent disks. In addition to server and storage virtualization, networks can also be virtualized using the virtualization technique. Using network virtualization, a physical network can be used by multiple containers, which are separate runtime environments running on the same physical server. Now, we have a general conceptual understanding of virtualization. As we talked about, one of the advantages of virtualization is that we can run multiple instances of operating systems, also called virtual servers or VM, on a single physical hardware. Virtualization technique used to create virtual servers, such as Windows or Linux servers, is called virtual machine. Virtual machine is also called virtual computer system, or VM, which is a more popular term for virtual machines. You can think of a virtual machine or VM as a separate isolated container having its own operating system and applications. VMs are discrete, separate and isolated, self-contained and completely independent. Because they are self-contained and completely independent, we can launch multiple VMs on a single physical server. For example, we can have a Linux virtual machine and a Windows virtual machine, both of which can be run on a single physical server in their separate isolated environment. Not just two, this is just an example. We can run many instances of operating systems on the same physical server. Having multiple VMs on single physical servers enables various operating systems and applications to run on one physical server. This physical server is also called a host as it hosts multiple virtual machines. That's it for this lecture. Hope you liked it and got a good general conceptual understanding of virtualization 